wife. What kind of trash are you? Can't you see we're in fucking mourning here? And you, you had six. I remember that smell. Got no respect for the dead. Got no respect for property. Think you're some kind of rebels, but you just whores. And now, you gonna make amends? You got any money, bitch? Lousy not, son. Well, aren't you gonna introduce your husband to your little friends? That's it. No dialogue. <laughs> How are you doing today, Mr. Bowman? Never mind a small talk, Doc. Give me some drugs. <laughs> I'm just looking over your charts and your operation is a complete success. Oh, hey, great. Well, how long before you get this off? Oh, ten weeks. <laughs> <laughs> ten weeks? It'll go by just like that. No, it won't. Well, it will for me. I'll be snorkeling in Jamaica. <laughs> ten weeks. Anything made that gouge? Look, at that's where it hit the ground. To me, the most puzzling feature is we're unable to locate any rivets. I mean, how in the hell was that thing held together? There aren't even any seams. And as if that weren't weird enough, there seems to be no engine, no moving parts. I mean, how did that thing fly? Maybe the engine's somewhere else. Maybe this is just a part of it. Professor's lab, we can use his equipment to change her back to human form. It's about time. Begged it to you. I relish the prospect. I'll do what I can, but I already talked to another woman reporter this morning. That must have been Judy Owen. I don't understand why everybody's so interested in that development. Well, what with the housing shortage and all, anything like this is good news. And I guess we got our wires crossed at the paper. I'll let the editor know he's setting everyone out on the same story. Well, I don't mind talking to you people. I just don't think that I can be of much help to you. You learn more from the library than from me. For heaven's sake, I never even knew that President Garfield slept there. I never knew that either. Well, in my opinion, it's a story cooked up to justify hiking the prices on those homes. Now, nobody can prove that Garfield slept there, but nobody can prove that he didn't. Although... I never heard the story as long as I owned the property. How long did you own the property? 20 years. I sold it to the Sloans in 43, and I heard that they sold it for a good profit after that. The Sloans sold the land and bought it back? Well, either that or the buyers defaulted on them. Anyways, they're sure going to turn a pretty penny on it now. I'll say. This is the full... Bachelor party we had yesterday? No. You sure acted like it? No. Where's the boys? They back yet? No. What? I can't hear you! No! Oh, that's good. That's good for me. But bad for you. Because now it means we're going to have a little time no. to kill. Thanks, Sam. Can you decide what kind of cake you want? Keep it simple. I don't want Beth and Josh to think they're on the wrong spread. You say that every birthday. Who's bringing them in? 
Well, Billy went into town for supplies, so I told him to wait for the stage to come in. You know, it's not really a party without candles on your cake. What did we do last time? Slips my mind. Uh, how many candles was it? I want to say it was over 21. You say that every year. <laughs> every year? Yes, sir. Look, Mr. Ramsey, I know how you feel. I won't ask you again! Don't do it. Stay out of it, Ethan. You brought me into it when you sent your boy to do the law's work. Both of my boys are dead because of him. Bishop dies. He dies now. You're gonna have to kill me first. Don't think I won't do it. Let it go, Cliff. When, when John was in high school, we'd have awful fights about seemingly everything. His not keeping the car up, coming in at 2 o'clock in the morning, and some of the kids he was running around with. And well, one night, I, I just got so mad. I hauled off and hit him across the face. And then I said something I'll never forgive myself for. I told him, I told him to get out of my life. God forgive me, but I got my wish. Well, the next morning, the police found John at the bottom of a ravine, not too far from here. His car had turned over and his neck was broken. They said that he was killed instantly, but all I knew was my son was dead. Don't you make the same mistake that I did. Don't let one day go by that your kids don't know that you love them. Because when they're gone, they're gone forever. Forever. Listen to the voice of reason. Territorial secretary or not, Brad, don't you come screaming to me about the voice of reason. Now, I know how serious this situation is, but I cannot go ordering warrants on your cursory suspicions. It's no suspicion, sir. The one common link between the banking operations was the holding company that owned them, and Lon Chase, the treasurer in charge of their accounts. So, so Chase has been missing for more than two weeks now. He's taken all their books with him. You ain't saying some pencil pusher behind all these robberies, are you? It's the only rational explanation. Well, how do we know this fella Chase hasn't just taken a few days off? Uh, maybe we should wait and wait. see what's... Wait for what? Wait for all the depositors who have lost money to pull up stakes and move back east? To wait for the four towns that have been hit to dry up and blow away? You wait any longer and you send a message to this country that this territory isn't safe to live in. Okay. You made your point. Issue the warrant, Marshal Steiger. And put a $500 reward out on Chase's capture. $500? Now, hold on, Brad. You know, a warrant's one thing, but if you think for one minute... Out of my I... own pocket. You want that to read dead or alive, sir? Well, alive, of course. What good's finding him gonna do if he's dead? Guess ought to bring every bounty hunter west of the Mississippi down on him.
So don't you try nothing. Get up on your feet. Pronto! You coming with us? Could I put on my breeches? You ain't gonna need them where you're going. Well, if it's that fine, I'd like to at least be wearing my boots. I'll make it quick. All right, now hurry it up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get up. Get up. Boom. Get Get going. Come on. Hey, would you let me? Hey, let me get my boot on. Now, this far as I'm going. You ain't getting away with this kid. Kid? Hey, Pockmark Verge. Hey, is that who you think I am, the Pockmark kid? Huh? Well, what was he doing in room 206? He was sleeping. I got the rope. All right, you're gonna have to find somebody else to hang from your windmill. Now, I'm not the Pockmark kid. I'm tired, and I am going to sleep. Going back to bed, I get out of here. Go on, get. Follow me. Go on, get. You two, you with the rope. Hey! There. 